Thank you. And now closing arguments, of course, you will know in the Oscar Pistorius murder trial have officially ended with both the prosecution and defense pulling out all of the stops last week in a final attempt to sway Judge Masipa's verdict. Now, here's what state prosecutor advocate Kerry Nell had to say in his closing arguments. We would like the court to take note of the fact that the accused has from the shooting incident in September 2012 until the shooting of the deceased displayed a blatant disregard for the laws and the lives of others. It's a state's case that the accused was a deceitful witness. The court should have no difficulty in rejecting his core version of events, not only as not reasonably possibly true, but in essence, essence as being absolutely devoid of any truth. And with the final verdict scheduled to be handed down on September 11th, the only question that remains is will Pistorius be found guilty or not guilty of premeditated murder or perhaps a lesser charge? And there are a number of charges being spoken about. With us on the line to give us his verdict, Chairperson of the Law Society's Criminal Law Committee, Mr. William Booth. William, thank you so much for joining us and for all of your efforts throughout the trial. I'm sure you can empathize with the monumental task ahead of Judge Masipa. All things being said and done and looking at the closing arguments of both sides, where does your um, thoughts lie at this point? Who do you think has done the most to sway Judge Masipa? Well, I must say it is, it is quite a, a massive task. You know, we've had days and days of evidence presented. So the judge and the two assessors have got to go through all of that evidence and have to consider the respective uh, arguments of the state prosecutor and the defense team. I think, you know, if you've got to sum summarize the, the matter, the, the prosecutor is saying that it's premeditated because Oscar went to fetch his firearm um, he had to then move to the uh, toilet door. He fired deliberately into a small area, into a very small toilet, and also severely criticized the evidence of Oscar. Um, you know, there's been a lot of problems, I believe, in the way he testified, the way he answered his uh, questions that were posed to him by the prosecutor, and there were changes in his version. Uh, the... Uh, Defense, on the other hand, has criticized the whole issue of how the crime scene was dealt with, that there was contamination of the crime scene, has also uh, criticized some of the state witnesses. But the whole case revolves around the fact, even if the judge accepts his version that he thought it was an intruder, is whether, in terms of our law, you can um, act as Oscar did. In other words, can you go and fire four shots deliberately, knowing there's somebody behind a door into a very, very small area. And I think that's where where the problem lies, because the judge can uh, convict him of uh, intentionally uh, killing the intruder. And then there's also a lesser charge of uh, culpable homicide, where he acted negligently. So I think, in my mind, the argument of the state has, has come across far, far stronger and we have the problems with regard to Oscar's testimony and the criticisms, I think, are sound that have been leveled against the way he testified. But at the end, the judge has got to find his evidence is false before the judge can reject his version of events. So I think if you're weighing up everything, there are problems, maybe not on the premeditated murder charge, I don't believe the state has that strong a case there. But on the lesser charges, I think the defense is sitting with some quite severe problems, um, which I think the judge might bring out a ruling here. If not murder in respect of the intruder, it might be the charge of culpable homicide or manslaughter based on his, on his own version that he presented to the court. Um, how likely is he, and I think this is the question on everyone's minds, you know, regardless of or um, taking into consideration the various um, possibilities in terms of convictions, how much time is he likely to spend in jail? What are the, the time frames that can be considered looking at the charges leveled against him? Well, look, I'm putting forward my opinion. I, we don't know what the judge is going to do. She might, at the end of the day, say the state has not proved its case beyond a reasonable doubt. He might be acquitted. But if he is convicted of premeditated murder or planned murder, I have my doubts that that is going to be uh, proved beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, the maximum sentence could be up to 
uh, life imprisonment. If it's murder where it hasn't been planned or premeditated, it could be up to 15 years. Although those sentences can be reduced if the defense submits evidence in mitigation, uh, what is called in our law substantial and compelling circumstances. And he certainly has many. Uh, his personal circumstances uh, are quite significant. The fact that he um, has his disability and his emotional state at the time, those are all factors the court must look at if the court finds him guilty of any of the charges. On the charge of culpable homicide, there's no set sentence. There's no life imprisonment. There's no 15 years. The court could, if finding him guilty of culpable homicide and saying on the facts they can't reject his version that he thought it was an intruder, he may get a non-jail sentence. But I think we've got a very special case here because our prisons, I believe, are not... Uh, able to cope with somebody like Oscar, yeah. um, an amputee, uh, you know, who, who put in a cell where you're not looked at all the time. You might be put in a cell with other people. Our prisons are, are severely uh, uh, overcrowded. There is very, very little rehabilitation in my mind. So those are all factors the court will have to look at when sentencing somebody like Oscar Pistorius. William, thank you so much for <clears throat> helping us navigate some very murky waters. There's still so much to be considered, um, but we really do appreciate your input in what has been quite a confusing and it still seems like quite a long journey ahead of us. Thank you very much. Well, with the final verdict scheduled to be handed down on September 11th, let us know your thoughts on the outcome of the trial on our Facebook page. Well, still lots to come on Expresso this morning. Alana, I know you're very excited about our lineup.